it's uh, C. Burley, and it's a 10-minute uh, presentation. Welcome, and uh, whenever you're ready, please uh, feel free to begin. My name's Craig Burley. I uh, am a, a parent of two boys uh, in attendance at Prince Philip School, uh, and I'm an Ainsley Wood resident. Um, first uh, thing I wanted to do was just issue, uh, Trustee Turkster had asked a question about uh, projections of French immersion enrollment. Um, page 17 of the, uh, the ARC final report shows that um, uh, French immersion uh, registration at George Allen is uh, uh, projected to remain at the, the same level through 2020-2021. To my own uh, uh, remarks, uh, Colleen Morgan's presentation uh, that you saw earlier about uh, was 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 wonderful about Prince Philip and the students in the community. Unfortunately, the pictures gave a, a somewhat um, uh, unusual impression because the hallways and classrooms were empty. Um, I, I'm there all the time. I see it full of students, and I'm amazed. Prince Philip, its students, uh, its role in the community the safety of the school, its learning environment. It is an ideal uh, that the board would do well to seek to have other schools to emulate. Um, I have two sons there, a younger son in junior, kin a younger son in senior kindergarten, and an older son in grade three. My older son, Jay, uh, came home today and uh, he asked a question uh, and said, Daddy, I heard you were going to speak to the school board today. Um, I didn't know what to say. He, uh, we haven't spoken about this with Jay, the possibility that the school may close. Uh, Jay, has, uh, Jay is autistic. Uh, he has Asperger's syndrome. Um, structure and routine, uh, the intimacy and familiarity of his environments, these are things that are immensely important to him. Uh, not just from the point of view of learning, uh, but from the point of view of living and understanding um, what to him are, is a great deal of mystery about, uh, 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 about, about life and in, at home and in the community. And his school is the focus of, of his life. Uh, school and home and neighborhood and city, those are the centers of the routine, uh, the way of life that gives his life balance and structure and meaning, and I use that word carefully, for all children, for children with ASD especially, uh, what the meaning of things in the world is often very difficult to divine. Um, but this message seems too harsh and too clear, which is the, board, the people who run schools want to close yours. Uh, he's flourished at Prince Philip. Uh, he's come so far. I'm immensely proud of him. Um, the remarks made earlier regarding student engagement are certainly true. He's been involved in so many things within his school, um, with his fellow classmates, and he does know everyone's name, and everyone knows his, and everyone knows him. Uh, I'm, he's worked, <laughs> my son has worked so hard. He works hard every day just to understand what's going on around him. Um, but the community within the school, teachers and staff, and especially his fellow students, have worked extremely hard as well. It's immensely gratifying to see fellow students of Jay's come to you and say, there are students in my class who don't like change, because I know who that refers to. And it, it, it heartens me. No, he does not like change. Yes, structure and routine are important to him. Yes, the intimacy of a small school is important to him. Um, and so I didn't know how to tell him. I didn't know how to tell Jay, and I don't know how to tell Jay. When he has to start at a new school, uh, when he has to convince 400 new friends that although he's unusual and it, it takes a lot of, he takes some getting used to, that he's a, a worthwhile friend and companion. What do I say when his neighborhood falls into decline? Families who are neighbors of ours and friends sell and move, move away. Um, because a center of their community is disappearing when friends of his uh, no longer attend school with him. Uh, what do I tell him when we can't walk home together? Uh, when the neighborhood kids 
you know, leave, leave, the, leave our board and go to private schools, separate schools. What I fear most is what to say when a classmate, a friend, a young one most likely, is crossing Main Street, which is just a, a it's a, a you, you have to see it to believe it. You have to see it every day as I do to believe it. It's an expressway built through the center of our neighborhood. It splits us off from the school, from, from George Allen, uh, which is very unfortunate. I love the Westdale neighborhood, but we are separated by it, f from it by a, uh, what I can only describe as a, a demilitarized zone of speeding cars. And I worry to think what to say to him when a young classmate uh, comes a cropper on Main Street trying to walk across, trying to send a message with, with a family that's, that's trying to live right and, and, and walk to school. What do I say when he has to go to a school in a portable classroom? We can't have a gym class because the school's at 120 or 130 percent of capacity because that is under 130 percent currently or 120 percent next year is what, is, is what would be the result. There are plans hopes, I would call them, to renovate George Allen. They're entirely unfunded. They depend on the largesse of a province that is no longer interested in providing capital <laughs> funding for anything to anyone. I'm a tax lawyer. I understand very well the financial crunch that the province is going through. They have no money for anything. This is not just off the back of the Drummond Report. This is a simple matter of cash flow. So I don't know what to tell Jay. Can I tell him that for seven years the school was unjustly deprived of funds by a board designation that was entirely unjustified, the, the FCI status, um, carelessly, I, perhaps even negligently, mischaracterized, starved of funding as a result. So I don't know. I, that doesn't seem some, an answer that would make much sense to a young child. So I don't know what to tell him. And I'm hoping that at some point I will hear something that will help. Thank you very much. Sorry, I'm happy to take questions. We'll see if we, see if we have some questions for clarification from any of the trustees. Nope. We'll look for a motion for receiving. Thank you, Trustee Brennan, and seconded by Trustee Johnstone. All those in favor? That's unanimous. And I, I thank you for coming to speak to us tonight.